The Velocity Frequent Flyer is the loyalty program to Virgin Australia. Now, it's incredibly easy to earn Velocity Frequent Flyer points. However, it becomes tricky when we're trying to redeem a reward seats, especially when it comes to business class flights or popular long haul flights like from Sydney to London. I have more than enough Velocity Frequent Flyer points to redeem business class reward flights, but I can't tell you the number of times that I've tried to look up and book business class reward flights only to find that there aren't any available. So that's why in today's video, I'm gonna share with you three different ways of how you can find and book business class reward flights with Virgin Australia. And each method that we go through today are going to drastically increase your chances of finding that elusive business class reward flights. And make sure you stay till the end because in the last method that I go through today, I actually managed to find business class reward flights from Melbourne to America. So make sure you stay till the end because after you learn about that method, that's pretty much, I reckon, the only method you'll use moving forward. But before we get into how to find them, we actually have to understand how Velocity's reward seats actually work. Now, Virgin Australia has actually never confirmed this themselves. However, based on anecdotal and confirmed sources and my own personal experience, the earliest that you can book a reward seat is 330 days prior to departure. However, this isn't the case for all flights. Sometimes reward seats are released 330 days from departure. Sometimes they're released 200 days from departure. And I've even seen as little as 30 days prior to departure, new reward seats being released by Virgin Australia. But the best piece of advice that I can give you if you're looking to book business class reward flights is to start searching as early as possible because that will ultimately give you the highest chances of finding those reward seats. Now, whilst Virgin Australia Australia isn't part of any airline alliances like One World or Star Alliance. Instead, Velocity has some great partnerships with airlines that travel to destinations around the globe. This means that Velocity members actually have a lot of flexibility in booking reward seats with different carrier airlines, different cabin classes to travel around the globe, basically. Right now, members can cash in their Velocity points with over 12 different partner airlines, with the notable airlines being Singapore Airlines, lines. Etihad, Qatar, and the recently joined Anna. Now, when you're looking to book reward seats with partner airlines that include United, Air Canada, Singapore Airlines, Etihad, and Qatar, these can book directly on Virgin Australia's website. You will be able to tell it's a partner airline flight because when you look into the flight details, it'll tell you which airline it's operated by. However, if you're looking to book reward seats with other partner airlines that include Anna, Hawaiian Airlines, and South African Airlines, then what you're gonna need to do is to actually call up Velocity's member center and actually get them to book that for you directly. So there's no way to actually just do it yourself, which obviously isn't the most convenient, but that's what you gotta do. The last thing I wanted to share with you guys is a little tip to help you guys secure those economy reward seats during popular high seasons such as school holidays. Velocity actually has a pretty unknown benefit called the Guaranteed Economy Reward Seat Benefit. Essentially, all you'll need to do is call up Velocity at least six months prior to the date that you want to depart and then ask them to open up new economy reward seats that you can then book. Now, unfortunately, this benefit is only available to Velocity's Gold and Platinum status members. But for those of you who are Platinum members, you can secure up to four economy reward seats for both domestic and international flights. And for gold members, you can request up to four economy domestic reward flights. All right, so now that we understand how Velocity's reward seats work, let's actually dive into how you actually find reward seats and business class reward seats. All right, so the first method is pretty much the standard method to finding Velocity reward seats. So head on over to Virgin Australia's website, sign in to your frequent flyer account, and then just book a trip as you normally would. Before you actually start searching for flights, make sure you click on the use velocity points at the top left-hand corner. This is going to be really important because this way it only shows you reward flights. After that, enter in all your flying details, including where you're flying from, the dates, etc., and then search for results. When you're looking through the results page, you'll want to specifically focus on the flights that have the velocity reward seat icon on the bottom left-hand corner. These are true reward seats that can be redeemed for a set number of velocity frequent flyer points and taxes 
based on the distance that you're flying. For example, if you wanted to fly from Melbourne to London, then it's always gonna cost you 59,800 velocity frequent flyer points to fly that flight, regardless of the date or time that you book. The only difference is when you're going through a different route or via a different partner airline. Virgin Australia actually show you directly on their website how many points that you're gonna need to redeem a specific reward seat based on the distance that you're flying. And if you're interested in finding out how many miles that you'll be flying in order to determine how many frequent flyer points you'll need to book your reward seats, Virgin Australia actually has a mileage calculator on their website that you can do this to find this out. Now for any of these flight options that don't have the velocity reward seat icon, these are essentially what Velocity call any reward seat offer. As the name suggests, any reward seat offer is available on any Virgin Australia flight. But as you can see, the value that you get from redeeming these flights are relatively poor. You're essentially just converting the cash price of that flight to frequent flyer points at a rate of 0.6 cents per point, which I highly recommend you avoid booking these flights. I would actually just rather pay the cash price than use my frequent flyer points. We can see that we'd have to spend around 260,000 velocity frequent flyer points plus pay around $400 in taxes when we could just spend 25% of that and book a true reward seat. Now, we can see from the search results that whilst there are some economy reward seats that we can book, there are no business class reward seats. And this is where this method of searching for business class reward flights can get a little bit painful because as you can see, there's no larger calendar view that we can look at to see see which dates have business class reward flights. We literally have to search day by day. So it is very painful and very slow. And that's where the limitations of the first method are. If you're just looking for economy reward seats, then it's great. And it's the method that I would recommend. However, if you are looking to search for business class reward flights, this is where this method isn't the best. But don't worry, the last method is really good. So make sure you stay till that one. All right, so the second method of searching for Velocity Reward Seats is to search directly via the Partner Airlines website. As Virgin Australia has a lot of mix and match partner airlines rather than a traditional alliance, oftentimes it's easier to actually search for Partner Airline Reward Seats directly on the Partner Airlines website itself. For example, if you're looking for reward flights with Singapore Airlines, then it's better to actually go on to Singapore Airlines website directly and then search for reward seats as you normally would. Now, Singapore Airlines has a few different award types. They have the Economy Promo, Economy Saver, and Economy Advantage. You wanna look at the flights that have the reward saver availability because these are the reward seats that have been made available to Singapore Airlines partner airlines such as Virgin Australia. So here we have an economy saver reward seat for a little over 30,000 points. All we would now need to do is to hop onto Virgin Australia's website and search for that exact same flight that route and on that date, and we should be able to find that reward seat on Virgin Australia. And here we go, that same reward seat for 29,000 points plus taxes. This process is essentially the same for all of Virgin Australia's partner airlines if you do choose to use their own website to search for reward seat availability. If you are looking specifically for business class flights, then just make sure you look for the business class saver icon, and then that same flight should be able to be found on Virgin Australia's website. The only exception is if you're searching for partner airlines that don't actually show up on Virgin Australia's website that I talked about before. So this includes airlines like ANA, South African Airways and Hawaiian Airlines. What you'll need to do once you find your reward seats available on those websites is to actually call up directly and get them to book that reward seat for you. And finally, the last method and the best method of searching for reward seats with Virgin Australia is by using a site called Seats. Aero. Now Seats.Aero is essentially a search engine for finding reward seats. You can instantly explore the reward seat availability from over 12 different partner airlines, which includes Virgin Australia, and as an added bonus, if you do book with them, Qantas. How the website works is it essentially scrapes data from the airline's website themselves, and then uploads the reward seat availability onto this website. Now the base features of the website are completely free. 
which allow you to search for reward seeds up to two months from the day that you're searching from. However, if you upgrade to the pro version for around 10 US dollars per month, then you can search for reward seeds up to a year in advance with some added functionality and filtering options and the ability to create seed alerts as well. Now, I'm not being sponsored by Seeds.Aero. However, in my opinion, the pro version is definitely worth it for the simple fact that you can search for reward seeds one year in advance. And it has definitely come in clutch for me personally when finding reward seeds that far ahead. You could even just sign up for one month find your reward seeds and then just cancel your subscription. I think that's 10 US dollars well spent if you can find the reward seed that you're looking for. If you are interested in signing up, I'll leave a link in the description box down below. So let's search for flights from Melbourne to San Francisco. And if you're flexible for dates, you can actually add a date range up to 28 days plus or minus from the date that you're searching from. So by using this option, you can essentially search for what available reward seeds there are for up to a month at a time. With the pro version, you also have some additional filters that you can apply, such as direct flights only, the number of award seats that need to be available, and then you can actually even search by cabin class as well. So in this instance, let's search specifically for flights that have business class reward flights. And voila, here we have all of the business class reward flights that we can book. If you click on the information icon on the right hand side, it will come up with more information in terms of the flight details, which airline is flying that flight, the number of frequent flyer points that you'll need to use to book that flight, and also the taxes you'll need to pay as well. One thing to also take note of is when the reward seats were last seen. You wanna focus on those that have been last seen the least, because in between that time, those reward seats could have theoretically been already booked. But once you've found the flights that you're looking for, all you need to do is go back to Virgin Australia's website like before and search up for those exact same flights on that exact same date. So for this flight that we have here, let's go back onto Virgin Australia's website and then search for that exact same flight on that exact same date. And voila, I've just found business class flights from Melbourne to San Francisco. And that my friends is how you can easily search for and book business class reward flights with Virgin Australia. Now, if you have found any of this content useful at all, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more future content like this. Now, in order to book those business class reward flights with Virgin Australia, you're gonna need a lot of velocity frequent flyer points. So make sure you check out this video right here, where I talk about the best velocity frequent flyer credit cards that you can use to earn a lot of velocity frequent flyer points.